Hi Cancer, welcome to this reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs, though you might find it resonates more if Cancer is your Moon or Rising Sign. Yeah, Three of Swords reversed makes sense. For me, the Three of Swords, when it comes out reversed, is that it's like being in limbo between the fresh and difficult pain, emotional, psychological, of the Three of Swords and the rest and the healing and the peace that comes with the Four of Swords. Um, do you know, I just heard for some of you, this Three of Swords is the anticipation of something negative to come. So I don't know if somebody watching or maybe a group of you watching suffers with pretty strong anxiety or something like that, or like a feeling of dread. Um, but the fact that this is reversed is telling me whether this is talking about something that has come into being, it's manifested, the anticipation of something that will be painful, you're recognising it and, you know, you've taken steps already, um, at least some steps here to move forward out of this energy. And this is something that, you know, um, your spiritual team is encouraging you with and saying, yeah, you're absolutely on the right track. Try and um, keep going, you know, do the best you can to um, move into that Four of Swords place. OK, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. So self-doubt um not seeing that you are already amazing maybe you're thinking yeah i'm pretty good but i'll be happy with myself when i um have a higher income or i've lost more weight or i've gained weight or um i have finished learning this skill or you know whatever it is it's like you are actually already this nine of pentacles and independence and success it doesn't just have to be the things that are manifested externally that, that we can see that you can see it can be something you've cultivated within so perhaps your external reality isn't yet exactly how you want it but it's almost like the recognition and the acknowledgement that you've built up your internal um world skills mindset thoughts um to a point where it's simply just a matter of time until this shows on the outside you know maybe um let's say it's a job you want a different job um you've built up your basis of experience knowledge contacts you know all those things it's just a matter now of applying reaching out to people you know that sort of thing but it's about realizing you're actually already this very um Oh, you know, you're this Nine of Pentacles figure that other people actually admire, perhaps maybe more than you admire and recognise yourself, no matter whether you're fully satisfied with your situation in life at the moment or not. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Whoa, okay. <laughs> and we have the Emperor. And you see how that card just flipped out. Yeah, the message here from Spirit and from your guides is you are you're a boss basically what you know whatever we're talking about whether it's um in terms of how awesome you are how kind you are to other people to animals how intelligent you are how um what's the word focused with the age of pentacles whatever it is and i'm looking here it looks like she's training this insect down here maybe not in the kindest way you know she's got it on a lease and she has a whip but that aside <laughs> um I feel you've mastered something, you've really um, worked diligently on something here and you've reached a high level of achievement and as I said it could be uh, like a course, a skill, it could be you've been working on um, finding coping mechanisms for preemptive worry or anxiety or you've been working on healing something that happened to you or something you were involved in in the past. Um, but yeah we have the Emperor, I mean this is Aries energy. I think something to leave in the past is self-doubt or in a way almost how you're seeing yourself. If you're not seeing yourself as having overcome a lot, risen above, being very accomplished, having achieved a lot and having a lot of value to offer to others um, and really, you know, maybe you know those things mentally but emotionally it's it's a struggle to really genuinely embody that you might feel like you have a bit of imposter syndrome or something um but it's about truly knowing you're actually you're actually the emperor here seven of cups reverse and the chariot in reverse so the seven of cups um is a card of options it's a card of maybe daydreaming and sometimes it's a card of confusion because seven options is quite a lot um and especially, you know, in this deck, we can see they all look the same. They all have rabbits in. 
it looks to me like the rabbits pop up and then they, they go down. So it's like, well, which one does she go for and at what time? So I think for a lot of you, it's your mind. Your mind could sometimes be, you know, um, maybe a bit detrimental to you or like um, you have thoughts that actually undermine what you know about yourself. So self-doubt or um, you might be the kind of person who really does a lot of reflection on people, situations, yourself. Sometimes that could lead, lead to overthinking actually. And especially let's say if we're talking about a situation with another person and it could be romantic, friend, family, whoever, and you feel that the communication is not great or maybe there's none at all. So you're left to try and figure out to understand what's going on or what happened. And there's lots of overthinking. Um, I feel that's something you're being encouraged to try and reduce or, or if you can, you know, leave behind as 2022 closes out and maybe even take on the belief of like, okay, if I'm the emperor, one of the skills I've developed as an emperor is communication because an emperor obviously has to communicate clearly and well. So if there is a situation in my life, a connection, a relationship where I'm left confused 90% of the time, how much of that is me and how much is the other person and have I self-reflected have I done what I can if I have okay great maybe I should try to think about this less because perhaps it's on the other person to try and um, you know make some changes or step up in the way that I have as well the chariot in reverse yeah this could be talking about going for your goals encountering some obstacles along the way let's see clarify the chariot reversed please cancer energy there whoops six of wands reversed yeah i don't know if you've had setbacks this year and that's really you've sort of absorbed that as a part of your identity and feeling like you failed in certain ways or um, you've looked foolish or something like that again you know we're talking about the mind the ego here don't let your mind be you know your own worst enemy here um some of you could even try affirmations but specifically as you're falling asleep or while you're sleeping so that your ego is down you know and the affirmations can get through um if you have an iphone i know there's an app called parrot and you could just record um well your, your voice whatever you want to say and it will just keep repeating it over and over and you could let it go all night or you could set a timer so it goes on for half an hour an hour um so that could be something helpful um i don't know i mean i'm assuming there's a similar app for an android phone i'm not sure but um yeah affirmations could be a good way if you can try and get them into your subconscious to start you know releasing some of these thoughts that seem to be making you doubt yourself or things you've perhaps internalized maybe something didn't go how you wanted well perhaps it wasn't meant for you or maybe you just need to be more prepared the next time around it doesn't mean you suck completely um you know oh it, you know i didn't pass this test first time i must be stupid no maybe it just wasn't what you're expecting maybe you didn't learn the right things in advance or practice the right things um okay for some of you i'm hearing if it's specifically about learning something your instructor was not um, very good they had their own agenda so i don't know what that means i don't know if this was someone who was trying to keep you in this state of learning and learning and learning to get more money from you or something or if I don't know, they, they were on their own ego trip or power trip, so they were more concerned with how they were coming across rather than teaching, I don't know. Okay, let's see, what else? We have the Eight of Wands, interesting, we have two eights here. Yeah, I feel 2023 is a time for you to push forward, but this forward momentum is going to begin with your confidence in yourself because look, oh, another eight. See how her eyes are closed? You know, we normally think of the eight of wands as quick movement, but she's sitting down and she's not, she's not taking any action. And it looks like she's got all these fireflies attached to her, trying to lift her up, trying to guide the way, but she's not looking, she's not seeing. She's got a crown on, so she's important, you know, to others. She should be important to herself as well, but it's like she's not seeing it. We have this eight of cups. Hmm. 888 could be important. I think in my last reading I had 777 um let's see eight of cups if there is someone in your life who is being very rigid very stoic 
um, petulant, actually, childish. <laughs> Look at this guy, you know, yes, he's an emperor, but he's on a rocking horse. He is a child, but he thinks he's, you know, sort of king or something like that of, of like, you know, in the real world, in reality. So if there is someone who is, yeah, childish, difficult, kind of, um, they can be really, really unpleasant. I feel the message might be to leave them behind, actually. I think there's better waiting for you. Um, and I don't know what kind of connection this is, romantic or otherwise, but the Eight of Cups is saying, I've invested a lot here and yet still I'm unfulfilled. All these flying birds trying to escape her skirt, which is a cage, you know, I'm not getting anywhere here. And then walking off and finding that, that special other connection or person with that Two of Cups that's missing from the Eight. Yes, the devil. You know, the word petulant feels so appropriate here. Like, I want to smack this person around the face. They're that irritating. Or some of the things they've been doing. Um, and then we get the devil coming out. So we've got Capricorn energy here. So it could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Doesn't have to be. I think it's more the energy, though. Um, okay, let's see what else. Six of Cups reversed, and we have the, the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is someone you could feel very um, connected to, like they're a soulmate. It could be someone you've known since childhood or for many, many years. Um, it could just be Six of Cups reversed. That the message here is leave this in the past if you can and if you're ready to. This is something that you came to very open hearted, like a page of cups almost. You had pure intentions. Um, you gave a lot, but it's almost in some ways now you might feel like you have sharper edges because of this. You're a bit more jaded. You're the Queen of Swords. So you're wiser. Yep, great. But also, um, I mean, look, she's eating this cake and it's got a face and she's, you know, one of the eyes has been taken out. So it's almost like you're a bit sort of battle worn now, thanks to this. Um, and I don't know, this feels like a stubborn person. And it feels like what they're being stubborn about is not something positive, like I'm determined to be considerate and a good listener. It's like I'm determined to do things my way and be selfish and to be prideful and a bit lustful, if it's that kind of a connection. Um, <clears throat> if it's not, the devil could be talking about maybe an over obsession with how they look. Um, as I said, this emperor is a child and yes, he's wearing, you know, a fancy uniform, but he still is undermined by his rocking horse. He's not actually going anywhere. It's not even a real horse, but he doesn't know. He's taking himself far too seriously and it's kind of a bit embarrassing actually looking at him. Um, so I don't know if it's because of this situation that you're having to rebuild your confidence and, and, you know, leave this feeling of maybe doubting your self-worth if you are in 2022 or if it's this plus other uh, plus other things but um whatever this is whoever this is the advice is leave this person behind i'm not sure they're going to change we have the hermit reversed virgo energy but yeah this person doesn't want to be um reflective or to be introspective and i think actually it's ended up that you've done that for the both of you hence this seven of cups and this overthinking Okay, anything else, please, for my viewer? Anything else to leave in 2022? We have Justice, Libra. Oh my goodness. I have a really odd message to say, and it's, it's only odd because of what I'm sitting here doing, but some of you might be feeling like leaving tarot <laughs> mm, in 2022 or at least if you feel that it's becoming too much or you're kind of going from reading to reading to reading and if you've got a second to free time that's what you're doing and you're starting to wonder and question already is this helping me or not or is this keeping me hanging on to certain things it might be an idea i'm not saying let go completely but the scales are all about balance and i'm noticing the feather which is making me think of um the egyptian goddess mart or mat depending on how you uh pronounce it who is about truth um is are things like tarot and other sorts of things whatever you might be watching or consuming are they obscuring the truth? Are you having doubts in your mind about whether they're helping or almost feeding a fantasy, Seven of Cups, you know? Um, so 
yeah it, it's about balance so that might be something to think about it could also be a balance between say the spiritual world and the 3d grounded world or internal world and external world <clears throat> we have the five of wands king of wands reversed six of swords reversed there is someone you keep going back to um a situation you keep going back to and i don't think this is a person whose attention you fully have for some of you i do think it's a father figure and i'm not just saying that because we have the emperor um and the king of wands because that could still be a woman with um coming across in this strong um skewed masculine energy and i say skewed because the cards are reversed whether it's a woman or a man we're looking at but i i feel strongly for someone at least this is actually a father figure and the reason you keep going back is because they're your parent you know but it's like every time you're disappointed every time you encounter this person they are stubborn angry um they come across as a bit of a dictator and you know whatever kind of connection this is six of swords reversed it's like it's it's a struggle for you to move on it's like you don't want to accept that actually you're better off without them because that's sad in and of itself you don't want that to be the situation because now or in the past you felt this six of cups energy there was a sweetness or you saw the potential for that it's like you don't want the truth to be that you are more peaceful without them that you do better without them in your life you want them to pull their socks up and you know sort themselves out so you can both be peaceful and successful and happy together. Okay, wow, seven of swords, exactly. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Are you doing anything? Are you thinking anything? And this could be a harsh truth that you've got to sort of really be strong to face. But is there anything you're doing that is keeping the wall pulled over your own eyes? Um, yeah, anything that's obscuring the truth here. Ace of Cups reversed. Four of Wands. For some of you, you know, you could even be, like I said, if it's a father figure, it could be um, someone that you actually still live with. I mean, which is obviously why you keep seeing them um, and keep maybe physically going back to the home, to the foundation. For others of you, if this is a spouse, you might even be already wondering to yourself, you know, is this healthy for me? Um, if you're thinking that, I would, and you're thinking maybe, you know, about leaving, I would say the thought of leaving is not really, hasn't found its way into reality yet because the four of wands is still upright and these two women are still doing their sort of chores and, and keeping the home going. So it might be this niggling feeling you have of kind of not wanting to look at the fact that this is someone who is not good for you or your health. Um, and if that's the case, and you're right at the beginning of that thought process and journey, this is not a message, you know, before the end of the year, so in a month's time, just over a month, you know, move out, pack your bag, file for divorce. It's not that. It's it's just spirit kind of very gently, you know, trying to bring this up a little more to the surface. Um, because with the four of wands upright, as I said, that's a foundation that's still standing. Now, for some of you, and I'm just putting this out there as a potential alternative way of reading this. You could be looking at yourself and saying, do I need to chill out a bit? You know, am I a bit ego driven? Do I have some inner insecurities in one way or another? And actually, instead of really working on those and going within and going into hermit mode, I've been really careful about the image I'm projecting and I've been investing more in this projection um, and actually I know sometimes because of that I can I can be triggered quickly you know if someone says something that I feel is not super positive my ego flares up and I become this reverse king of wands who's a bit too fiery um, it could be that sort of thing um, someone could be dealing with issues around maybe a temper whether it's you or someone else I think for the majority of you that though there is someone who is in your environment who is a bit like it's my way or the highway and that's me sort of putting it nicely okay let's see what to leave behind in 2022 the nine of cups oh god yeah feeling like this person is going to 
bring you fulfillment, nine of cups, you know, it's like you keep going back because you think there is happiness here. And I'm not saying there isn't and can't be, but right now, there this is a this is a person who is um I don't know what demons they're wrestling with, but it's like every time you get close to them, you get burnt. Anything else for this nine of cups, please? The magician. Yeah, you know, you're very, very powerful. We saw that from the start. It's almost like you can move forward in 2023 and manifest whatever it is you've been working towards and dreaming about and whatever you're putting your time and effort into. But I also think because you know how much power, personal power, strength, courage, compassion, you know, intelligence you have, you feel that you can go towards this other situation or this person and help them to transmute and change and evolve. Um, but they are on their own journey. We have death on the back. We have Scorpio here. We've got Gemini here. Um, I do wonder if one of the ways in which you're going to be able to help them to transform and, and wrestle with these demons they have is by cutting them off, whether it's temporarily or permanently. Okay, because, you know, we know in tarot death is about death and then a rebirth. Um, somebody could be wondering, do I, am I drinking too much? You know, like, uh, sort of, I'll come home from work and then I'll have a bottle of wine with dinner and then another, and you're kind of starting to wonder, it's re you know, is it, is it adding up? With the Nine of Cups, we know sometimes this can be overindulgence, and we've got this Ace of Cups as well, and then these people, it's almost like I can imagine, you know, they're in a bar, they've had too much to drink, and then a fight breaks out. And I'm not saying that's literally you, but just the idea of, of too much, consuming too much, and kind of acting in a way you wouldn't ordinarily. So, yeah, if you're thinking that, it could be a good time to think about making some some changes around that in the coming year. But the strongest message is you've been carrying the weight of yourself and your own responsibility to yourself and the responsibility of showing up as a decent person in the world plus the responsibility of someone else because someone else hasn't been taking care of that they've not been holding up their end um of things so you've been carrying it for both of you um i'm also wondering if for some of you this this slightly dangerous person whether they're dangerous physically emotionally psychologically to the people around them they could be connected to married to the parent of someone you care about very much and you've been trying to almost rescue this person from this volatile selfish energy and the message here is there is only so much you can do um to help here and maybe almost releasing yourself from any feelings of responsibility um, or guilt, you know, in if you haven't been able to do what you were hoping for here to, to free this person or rescue or save them, you know? Okay, so obviously we were looking at all the things to leave behind. Let's finish up with a couple of Oracle message, messages even about what's coming up in 2023 so in releasing all of this what are you making room for so let's raise the uh <laughs> not raise the vibration but you know let's end on a slightly more maybe lighter note here <clears throat> okay we have clairvoyance very nice archangel Raziel, i am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love so your clairvoyant abilities maybe moving into a realm or work or a way of living that's kind of more spiritually inclined trusting your intuition more but clairvoyance to me is being able to see the truth now that is fantastic because we started off with the seven of cups seven of swords we've got this message of confusion and overthinking and which is the correct thought which is truth which is just what's my ego stressing me out and in 2023 you're moving towards clearer vision insight a calmer state of, of being mentally emotionally whoa and that could be um partly in thanks to that queen of swords energy that has been produced in you through the experience with this person and situation you know this this reverse sorry the emperor reverse king of wands whether it's first hand second hand 
Okay, and we have beloved one. I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate relationship. Wow. So for some of you, if you're leaving behind a romantic interest that you have been trying with and it's not been going anywhere, you definitely have someone new coming in. Remember I said um, going from the Eight of Cups, finding that Two of Cups. If not, um, you know, it could be, as I said, a rebirth within the pre-existing situation. And if there is no one you're leaving behind in a romantic sense, this could be just saying in 2023, you're, you're making room for a potential deep soulmate relationship. And we have breathe, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Yeah, so you see breathing, slowing down, calming down, finding better coping mechanisms and... Um, I think taking more time for you in 2023, feeling more in control and not feeling rushed, not feeling stressed, having really good boundaries, knowing when you need to take a time out. Um, just just feeling like, if, I want to say feeling clearer, but your thoughts are clearer, your feelings are clearer. And that's taking me to, back to the clairvoyance card. For some of you as well, in 2023, you could find that you're doing lots of nurturing of your inner child, um, whether it's through, you know, sort of thinking back to things that have happened in the past and almost reprogramming your thoughts around them. So let's say in your past, someone was very mean to you, going back and telling yourself, you know, that wasn't necessary, that person was being harsh, it's not a reflection of your value and worth, that sort of thing. Or if it's that, say, since you were a child, you've loved um, building things or painting and you're bringing that back and you're doing those activities now. Okay, what else, please? What else? We have zebra or zebra. Let go of your fear and know that you are safe and protected at all times. Yeah, moving forward with a greater sense of confidence. And as I said, that starts, that comes from within you. I'm not seeing anyone in the 3D coming towards you and saying, I've got you, I'm protecting you, you're safe. It's almost like this strength that's coming from within and that cannot be shaken. Um, of course, I do feel you have lots of support and protection in um, the 5D. We have Falcon, act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. Um, so if you have an opportunity coming up, do not doubt, am I pretending? Am I, do I, you know, don't have imposter syndrome. Are they, are they going to find out that there's someone else who's better for the position, the job, the opportunity? No, 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 no. You're the magician, you know? Oh, we have two. We have Meerkat, get support from a trusted group of like-minded friends. And we have Roadrunner, keep your sense of humour and don't take things so seriously. So with these two coming out together, you know, you might be finding um, new friendships or strengthening existing friendships and really drawing a lot of support from this, this group, or even if it's one friend in the coming year. Um, and it seems like if things get difficult or you're having a hard time or you're feeling sad or whatever it is, this is how you're going to be able to blow off steam. You're going to get lots of value, support, and you'll be able to give it in return. Um, being able to to take you know to laugh a bit more maybe in 2023 because i feel this year in some ways has been heavy as i said i think you've been carrying the responsibility for yourself and someone else and um by almost releasing this other person to their free will and to follow their own journey and saying i'm here if they change their mind but I'm allowing them to go through their own rebirth it frees you up and you're able to kind of feel lighter again to find more joy more humor in things um okay so I will leave this here so thank you so much for watching I hope it helped and I'll see you soon